Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for how do they feel about you right now? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so we're going to first talk about their feelings. Then we're going to talk about what are the actual actions they're going to take and some advice. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump in. How does Gemini's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Gemini's love interest feel about Gemini's romantically? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we're going to put nine cards down here, Gemini. All right, let's look at the bottom of the deck. It's definitely a love connection here. Some kind of message of love. But someone's really defensive about getting hurt with the Nine of Wands energy. And I see that there's this concern about missing some type of opportunity here. So let's keep going here. So your person seems to be feeling that there's a very strong spiritual connection or secrets here with the High Priestess card energy. It's like they feel like something's not being completely revealed about the situation. So let's keep going. And they want to make some kind of decision based on it. How does Gemini's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Gemini's love interest feel about Gemini's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see here. So they definitely feel that they are your main person or want to be your main person. How does Gemini's love interest the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Gemini's love interest feel about Gemini's romantically? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Mm -hmm. You are who they want. We got the Nine of Cups energy. So there's some secrets, some unknowns. Right? They feel like something's in their intuition about the fact that they want to, um, there's like this spiritual, strong spiritual connection, some kind of intuitive connection, um, but they definitely want you. They're wishing for you, hoping for you. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's use this deck. How does Gemini's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Gemini's love interest feel about Gemini's romance? Show my cards you see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, look at that, Gemini. They're like, you're mine. I get pissed off knowing other people can have you now. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Mm-hmm. For you, they have very strong chemistry and passion. It's not like player energy. They want to stick around. It's like insane chemistry and passion between you guys. They keep reminiscing about the past here and the regrets about what happened. And they definitely want to overindulge with you. Mm, okay. They really want some kind of clarity. They're like, I don't know how you feel about this connection anymore. Right? So like, you're mine, but I'm so confused. Um, they're trying to make the wisest decision based on the long term here. Something of value, something of worth, you know? They're concerned that you're not telling them the complete truth with the cat card energy. They feel like you guys are destined to be together. There's a destiny between you guys. But they're concerned you're like, let me go. Okay, so... I feel like they want to be with you, but they feel like you, they don't know what's going on with you. They feel like you are giving them mixed signals and that it's causing them a sense of confusion about how to move forward in this connection. 
Yeah, they feel like there's some kind of juggling going on to a pentacles energy. Like they feel like you have another person that you're kind of weighing, like maybe I should be with this person, right, kind of energy. There could be marriage involved with this situation that's causing this juggling to go on. Or if it's not marriage involved with the situation, you guys, there may be juggling this, this you may, they may feel like you're juggling them about, about a long-term commitment marriage. Uh, but they want to be with you and they are in the state of shock here. Shock and surprise about the uncertainty, the back and forth here. And I feel like they're like, they're shocked and surprised because they feel like you're asking for them for time. Okay. And we see that there's this attraction here with the Empress card energy or something that's been growing here. What has been growing? Let's just look at the card before. This growing juggling. Empress also talks about starting a family. Maybe they feel like there's a mother energy around this. They feel like something happened that really surprised them about the situation. And they were really disappointed. So they, they feel like there's some kind of infringing party around this, like a feminine energy, that caused them massive amounts of shock and surprise and disappointments. And they really want to talk to you about it. They said there is something I really want to share with you. Right. So let's keep going. You bring them a sense of happiness, joyful energy. They really enjoy the moment with you. They want to have a sigh of relief. Your person really, yeah, see, they want success, happiness, happy outcome. Mm -hmm, there's the passionate stuff again. Okay. <laughs> so far, what are we looking at here? All right. They're like, Gemini, you're mine. Okay. I know there's a state of confusion. I don't know if you're going to let me go and you talk about you need some time, but I really want to talk with you about this. <laughs> and it looks like they want to they want to fulfill like a, a passionate thing with you as, as well when they say something to you. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, they're taking it there, Gemini. Okay, they're looking for some. It's like a passionate exercise is going on there. Okay, so let's just go down the layer here. Not. How does Gemini's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Gemini's love interest feel about Gemini's romantically? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yep, they want to deal with this unfinished business. They want the truth because they feel like there's something they're not getting here from this situation. They're seeing some kind of spiritual signs here. They feel like you're avoiding them or like they're giving them mixed signals or something. They really want to have a conversation with you, communicate to fix the situation. They really want to talk about healing and fixing the situation because they feel like there's something going on that you're concealing from that you're not saying to them. All right, let's keep going. So the Ten of Pentacles has to do with money or family here. It seems like this person is very defensive. They feel like there's a sense of defensiveness around this family situation. It's like they're trying to be patient. They don't want to be doing something very impulsive. They're trying to like kind of wait this out to see what happens. Oh, let's also go down the layer with this. They're like, you're my favorite, Gemini. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. You're the first thought on my mind. Yeah, they have very strong chemistry and passion with you, Gemini. This person is thinking about you a lot, four swords energy. They really want to just receive something of value or worth. They want some kind of positive turn of events to happen. They feel like they're losing you cause of a feminine energy or mother. I feel like they just want to get you alone. Yeah, I feel like they feel like you're avoiding them. Eight of Cups energy. Um, there could be a child around this situation or maybe a sense of childishness. 
They really just want to fix this connection because they're really confused about what's going on. And they can't let you go. They're really obsessed with you, okay? They got this strong addiction to you. Okay, bring it all together. So this person's like, I want to resolve this unfinished business. I want to communicate with you. I'm lusting for you. I'm, you know, they got chemistry, passion. They want to speak the truth and they want this to be a healed situation. They're like, I'm single and available to pursue, but I see that there are signs that you're not telling me something and I'm really overthinking it, obsessing about it. Like going down the layer here, Gemini, it shows your mind needing time to heal. You're my favorite. There's a sense of confusion. I have something to say about this feminine energy or this mother energy. Let me go. Or there's this wild side here to the situation. Lots of chemistry and passion. I don't know. I'm confused. Like this mystery around it. Like, do you feel the same? Like, do you feel the same? Going down the layer here, it's saying, you fulfill my desires. I'm shocked and surprised. We have this spiritual connection. I want to overindulge with you, but I have these disappointments and concerns of loss of this destiny. So they're concerned that, you you know, they want this destiny, want to have a sense of happiness and fix this situation. It feels like they're like, they're, your guys are destined to be together. So we see main person, marriage, cautiousness, regrets, surprise, Wanting to have a positive turn of events, wasn't being honest, wanting to have a sigh of relief when it comes to starting a family or something about a child or childishness. Potential signs around this could be an Aries said Cherry Leo energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So there was a mystery, air of mystery secrets about this juggling when it came to family. Um, I see wanting to make a wise decision when it comes to chemistry and passion. We see that there could be a mother energy around this or beauty and attraction. I've been thinking and contemplating on the long term. I want happiness and I'm afraid you're going to walk away from me or you're avoiding this. Okay, so let's see the actual actions, Gemini, that your person wants, is going to take towards you in the month of August. So what actions, what are the actual romantic actions, the Gemini's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what are the actual actions Gemini's love interest will take towards them romantically in the month of August? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see here, Gemini. Hmm, we got the Seven of Swords. We got the Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's like they're really having an issue. They feel like something, they feel like you're hiding something, like not saying something. It's making them feel like they're going around in circles in their thoughts. And it looks like they could be getting some advice or a lot of contemplation about the long term. Your person's in a state of confusion. They feel like very foolish and like you're leaving them out in the cold, five of pentacles energy. It's like they really want to invest in this connection and they want to heal, apologize, and reconcile with you towards a relationship. So it's like they really want to invest the time. They, it looks like they're, they're going to take actions to kind of feel like they're trapped in their thoughts because they feel like you're not telling them everything. But on the same token, their actions are, sh are showing that I want to invest in this connection. I want this relationship and I want to heal it and apologize. And I want to reconcile. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Geminis when it comes to their love interest for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? What should they do? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. All right, let's see, Gemini. Yeah, there's a, there is a twin flame aspect to this that can come into balance for family and long term. There is a destiny here, Gemini. Um, looks like spending time together, socializing, and have a sense of happiness here and bringing some things to light. All right, so communication here. And it's saying lots of communication <laughs> will bring massive changes. So this really just needs to be just communication here. There's a, your person doesn't feel like they have clarity. So the best situation for you to do is give your person clarity, which will bring massive changes into this situation. 
All right, my beautiful Geminis, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.